Uh, this presentation deals with the data uh, required to describe the cause of transients. The cause of transients, of course, are uh, valves opening and closing, pumps, uh, controlled shutdowns, startups, or trips where the power fails to the pump, and we have an uncontrolled shutdown, rapid demand changes such as a fire hydrant opening and closing, and rapid pressure changes. Uh, the input data that's required for Surge 2000 is the change data. And in the change data, we provide times and ratios. And these are the definitions of the ratios. For valves, the ratio is either the valve stem position ratio. For standard valves, which means that when the valve is 50% closed, the stem has moved 50% of its uh, total movement. Or an effective area ratio which is used for the non-standard valves, the customized valves, and these ratios are the ratio of the effective area uh, over the fully open area, so at 50% uh, would mean that 50% of the effective area is available. Uh, pumps, the ratio is the pump speed ratio, rated the speed over the rated speed for demand changes, it's just the demand versus time, or it's a change data, and for pressure changes, it's the head versus time. Uh, for pumps defined by three-point curves or reference points, which uh, a rated condition, which we also uh, uh, transform into a three-point curves, uh, the data will be the speed and time. So at this particular setup, at time zero, the speed is one. That means it's running full speed. At time two, the speed is one. That means it's still running at full speed. So it holds a steady state for two seconds, and at time seven, the speed is zero. So when we have uh, uh, pumps described by head flow data, we have to give the speed ratio. Uh, we can actually go through one like this, where we can uh, uh, shut the pump down and restart it. So this particular one, the pump shuts down at from two to seven seconds, and then 60 seconds later, it starts up again in uh, an additional eight seconds. Now if you have a pump file you can actually designate either speed or a trip. Uh, a trip uh, allows us to calculate the rundown and this illustrates a pump trip where at time zero to two the uh, steady state conditions are hold, held and then at time two the pump trips and what the selection we make here is the pump trip. Uh, if you uh, are starting up a pump described by a file, you have to designate the speed. There's no way to calculate the startup speed. So here we're starting up this pump. We're holding the steady state condition where the pump is off for the first two seconds and then starting it up in five seconds. S valves, we have standard valves where we've built in some characteristics. And in this case, the ratio uh, defines the uh, ratio of the stem position, so one would be the uh, uh, valve is fully open, zero would be it's fully shut, 0.5 would be the stem has moved half the distance. For standard valves, you just have to put in a beginning and an ending situation. So for this particular problem, at the beginning, at two seconds, the valve is fully open, at seven seconds, it's fully shut. Uh, if we have the uh, standard valves, we certainly don't have to go from fully open to fully shut. This illustrates one where at two seconds, it's 80% open, which means the stem has uh, only moved 20% of its position. And at time five, it's only 30% open. And this would be a butterfly valve. And the program will calculate the effective areas for uh, this type of valve. Uh, for a non-standard valve, we can make up the, uh, the ratio. But in this case, the ratio is the effective area. So again, this one shows at two seconds, from zero to two, it stays fully open. Uh, and then at three seconds, it's 50%. At four seconds, it's 20%, and so on. Uh, for non-standard valves, here's some additional examples of opening the valve and closing the valve, both situations. Uh, for a hydraulic uh, change of grade at a reservoir, uh, the, the way that we have to model that is we have to put an active valve adjacent to the reservoir 
and then we'll select that valve for input and we'll input a grade change and we actually put in the values. So this shows that we have a grade of 110 here dropping to 55 over a period of 15 seconds from 2 seconds to 17 seconds. And finally we have variable inputs for demand changes. We select the junction and we put in how the demand varies. So this particular one shows that at time 0 the demand is 0 time 2 and from time 2 to 10 the demand is increased linearly from 0 to 500 uh, gallons per minute.